Welcome back. I am Abel, and so are you. Um, here I have a Milwaukee pack out 15 inch tool tote. Um, this is considered my Milwaukee bag, kind of a household bag I've been kind of putting together. Um, so kind of wanted to share with you guys um hang out look at my tools with me all right so what we got here is gloves first you know i like my gloves these are just some uh cut level ones you see those all over the place uh let's just uh start inside now some of these tools you've seen before again i'm just kind of putting this bag together uh, uh oh having trouble this is your uh 16 foot auto lock you guys know i like this because of the let's see here we can get this going oh boy quarter inches Get your eights like that. Oh man, okay. We're not gonna mess around with that too much because I'm having trouble focusing. You guys, seen that Crescent Swiss, nice shears. This here is a Husky. Uh, uh, these are kind of, you know, you guys seen these, been around a little bit, kind of work like a knife. These are kind of hard to work with, you know, when you, when you start getting used to those fastbacks. Those seem like they're behind the times. These are some Huskies, uh, metrics. Ink saw. Again, same thing. Huskies. Oh, sorry about that. These are your Torx. And SAEs. Here we got the uh, Carpenter's pencils. One more, more blue one and another red ink so uh, guess this would be the front here. Uh kind of seen this Milwaukee fastback. Got the uh cord cutter down there. Little two uh blade storage. Kind of nice, like that. Uh, again, you guys seen this one too? Just a file. Needle nose, long needle nose. You gotta reach into something, get it, pull it out. Pitch birds. You guys seen that? Or won't. You said C and I ain't gonna spend a lot of time on it. Uh, some rope. No, I don't know. A little chisel. A lot of people think you can beat on these as if it's a demolition tool. This is not a demolition tool. You wanna keep this sharp. See how it's, it's really sharp. And you wanna keep that edge on there because this is this is a chisel to like take down some uh wood on a door or something like that a door jam you want to shave a little bit of wood off a demolition screwdriver is not going to do that this will do a nice clean job so you need to keep an edge on that so you don't want to use these for you know demolition some people try to use these for demolition screwdrivers or something uh here we got some knipex multi tools these are nice 
These are real nice. These are not that old at all. Let's see. We can uh, see you got your stranded from 12 to 20. Got your solids from 10. Is that 18? Yep, 10 to 18. These are okay. I haven't used them much. You know, the grip, that's supposed to be a soft comfort grip. And it's kind of tacky right now. Like it's it's so tacky when I when I squeeze it, it pulls my skin a little bit. And I don't I don't like that. I don't like that pulling my skin a little bit on my hand. Now if I had gloves on, it might feel different. This is kind of your uh, duck bill a little bit. These are so that you can twist wire with that. Mm -hmm. And then this one here is the Milwaukee Multi. Now this cuts a little bit more. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, so there you got your solids from eight to 18. Stranded 10 to 20. And these are kind of your, uh, wow, what's, what's going on with my, my uh, uh, focusing. Anyway, these are nice. I like these. Uh, I haven't used these much, one or two times. Um, they're nice. I like the grip on these better. They're kind of small. Like I said, I got medium-sized hands. Uh, but they don't pull on my, my my the skin on the inside of my hand like those Knipex do. Maybe those, maybe I'll get used to those Knipex. Uh, but I like them both. Same here. These are these are relatively new tools. I haven't broken them in yet. As you can see. You know, a lot of your your nipex, well, they'll just fall open, but these Klein, they they stiff, boy. They, they are really stiff. I'm gonna have to soak these or something, some oil, um, because these are kind of hard to work with one hand. Um, but it's a nice crimper on there. Got some cutters on the bottom, some stripping I can do on the bottom. These are these are heavy duty, hardened steel. Use a custom stuff. You guys know about my my lamp. Yep. Uh, then I got some. Uh, these are your. Uh, these are gonna be your insulated. Let's see if we can get how much we're insulated. Uh, Can't see what the installation is. Okay, thousand volt. And I think this is your ECX, something like that. ECX bit. See that bit? So this is kind of like a Phillips and a slant a slotted. See how that works? Sometimes you'll see that in a lot of your electrical boxes. Anything having to do with electrical, you'll try sometimes see those. Thousand volt again. This is your Phillips. Phillips head. These are nice. They're nice and light. These are not really uh, heavy. They're nice and light. slot it these are nice I don't think I've used those yet uh, this here now I don't know if you can see back here can you hear that that's a little uh, plastic back there this is the only pocket back here that has that plastic so this is especially for this tool here for this rip saw or uh, drywall saw especially for that so i can't put them in anything else or it'll cut up the it'll cut up the pockets 
And here we got a Klein Demolition. This is new. As you can see, I don't have a ding on it yet. But this is a demolition. It's kind of smaller. Uh, but it's tough from what I hear. So I like a little smaller demolition that I can I can kind of wield around like I want. And this is that uh, Klein ratcheting. And it's got some bits in here. I can open that up. Got a few bits in there. Got uh, some Torx. Some slotted Phillips. Um, uh, I don't know about this video, guys. This is this is not turning out too good. All this, uh, I'm having trouble with the uh, focusing. But I'm gonna try to hang in there. If this turns out to not to be too good, I'll 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 delete it and do it do it again, I guess. Um, over here, we got a Klein. This is be a precision screwdriver. It's flippable. Uh, I like this. It's nice rubber grip on here. This this is rubber. This is nice. I like that. And this is uh, you guys seen this? I didn't. Re I couldn't remember the name of. And this is a punch, uh, punch tool that'll start a hole for you. This is spring loaded, and uh, you hit that, and it uh, in metal, so that uh, you can get a good start on a hole on metal, so your bit don't slide around. You guys seen these thermometers? Um. Here we got the back side. I remember that new hammer I had. It's finally got a few dings on it. Look at that. Finally got a few dings on it. And uh, this is a nice rip claw, uh, 16 ounce snub nose, DeWalt metal. It's got the little Got the little wing down there so you get a good grip so you don't slip out your hand. This feels good. This feels really good. You know, electricians might not want to use these metal ones uh, because of, you know, this is very conductive. This will, <laughs> this will uh, let some electricity go through it. Uh, so, you know, electrician might want to use fiberglass hammers. Uh, but you got some two little uh, nail pullers right there. Nice. I like it. It's not new anymore. It's not new anymore. You guys know how I feel about eye protection. Keep eye protection everywhere. Guys, wear your eye protection. Yeah. Got a Milwaukee. This is a nicer uh, um, level. Like that. Got your 90 degree. Got your 45 and your zero degrees. And they claim these are some of the strongest uh, magnets you can get on a level. See that? They tout that. Okay. These are just some little, uh, you know, you want to put these on the end of screws or whatever, uh, you know, so you don't get uh, <laughs> scratched or nothing like that. Just got some miscellaneous tools in here, stuff, not tools, but uh, bits, bits, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Got a little, nice little uh, set here of uh, titanium drill bits. All over the place. Stuff from Harbor Freight. You know what? I feel like these are really cheap, man. I I don't know why I keep going in Harbor Freight um, and picking up stuff and regretting it. All these little fasteners, man. These little terminals and everything. They are so cheaply made. I think I'm gonna have to toss them and get some real ones. 
Uh, I was going through these. I thought I was getting a deal again, you know me. I thought I was getting a deal, and these things were like three or four dollars. And like, yeah, instead of paying fifteen or twelve or twenty dollars, and this stuff is after looking at it and getting it in my hands, this stuff is so cheap. I think it might be best just to just to throw them away. Uh, Cause I would hate to put up, you know, some nice pictures or something for someone and they <laughs> fall off the wall. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna toss those and go get some real ones. Um, but uh, that might be about it, guys. This thing came with one of those, and this is this is what I'm talking about. Really cheap. You see how those that doesn't even close. See that it doesn't even close. I I don't know what you're supposed to cut with that. Look how look at that look at that janky that is. So I'm gonna throw all this stuff in the trash. That's just trash. I'm gonna throw that stuff away. Uh, do I got anything in here? Nothing in there. So guys, this is the uh, Milwaukee Pack Out 15. Oh, 15 inch. I don't know if I pull that out. It's just a little cobalt wrench. Uh, pull these out. You guys seen these? For less than ten dollars. Like I said, every flavor. And you know, that's it. So you know, guys, I think it's a nice bag. I will say this: um, when I got when I got most of my tools in here, I um, because this bag is kind of deep. I don't know if you can see down in there. This bag is kind of deep, and reaching down in here, I have cut my hands just reaching down in here, um, and so. Guys, be careful when you're reaching in. I don't know if you can see that gash on my knuckle there. I was just reaching, just reaching in and cutting myself on stuff. When I go into this bag, everything is cascaded. So you're not reaching, you're not reaching over tools like this to get them. You're reaching kind of horizontal to get your tools like this, you know, as opposed to reaching down in a bag. And when you reach down in a bag, and this bag was not even filled to the brim, and I'm still cutting my hand because I got to go past other tools to get to what I want. And you know, if you got something sharp, you know, you're gonna you're gonna cut yourself. So that's the only downside I see to this bag. Um is the reaching down in. You gotta be kind of careful if you're not paying attention. And you know, some of us guys are heavy handed and we just go boom and it's just, and you're cut. So anyway, that's about all I have right now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, hope to see you guys again. I'm gonna try to put some other stuff together. Uh, so peace out, love and happiness.